What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Vlog in the Movies. And I got Jamie here on my channel once again. She's going to react to a movie that she has never seen before. It's been a while. Yep. Um, you're not actually drawing anything out of the bag this week. I actually found this movie recently at the Walmart. And would you like to see what it is? Yep. What are you? Zombieland Double Tap. Yeah, and I think the first movie you reacted to on this series was the first one. Yeah, so, so my first time viewing for uh, this year. Yeah, oh, your first viewing, your first time watch of a movie was Zombieland yeah. in general? So, okay, that's pretty cool. So, do you have any expectations going on on Zombieland 2? No. Yeah. Going, I'm actually uh, wanting it blind. Yeah, it came out 10 years after the first movie, and usually the stigma, usually with comedy sequels, especially if they're a big, long time gap apart, normally they're not as good. So, are you going to have reasoned expectations, or are you just going to watch it and see I'm for yourself? I just going to watch it and see it for myself. All right. Well, without further ado, we are about to watch Zombieland Double Tap, and Jamie will react to this movie for the first time. We're gonna go get her. We ride it, Dawn. Start talking. You first. Well, my name's Tallahassee. Did you enjoy Zombieland? Yes, I did. So, what did you think of Zombieland? Double tap. Ooh, well, I gotta say, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. Oh, so you enjoyed this one too? Yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, so how would? Uh, I don't know which one I like better. Ah, uh, so yeah, it. I guess it's kind of hard comparing it to the first because I think Zombieland two did a lot of similar things it's obviously set 10 years later and we follow the same characters but it's pretty much kind of the same story where they're taking out zombies pretty much yep and we meet new characters and other stuff along the way you have the obligatory bill murray cameo and everything oh like yeah and oh man tallahassee you just can't get a break with the beast can't you oh yeah tallahassee <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah. Uh, First yeah. cut up over Twinkie, not a car! Yeah, yeah the beast. <laughs> yeah, I think of all the characters in the Zombieland movies, Woody Harrelson as Tallahassee is probably my favorite character in the movies. Uh, which one do you like? Yeah, I like Tallahassee. He's a hoot. Yeah, I think they're all pretty fun. And I think what's also cool is this... Be coming out years later, you know, when they did the first movie, Abigail Breslin was just a kid. So it's cool seeing her, you know. Yeah, 10 years older. 10 years older and now a young adult, you know, trying to figure out things and be um, continuing her story from there. So it was a fun seeing a different side of her personality, you know, her grown up compared to in the first movie. You don't have weed, do you? <laughs> do I look like the type of person that would have weed? I'm sorry. Boom! Yeah! So, this movie had some pretty fun new additions to the movie. Did you enjoy some of those additions? Oh, yeah, Rosario Dawson and uh, Luke Wilson. Oh, yeah, Luke Wilson was funny. He was uh, yeah, I didn't see ta that come Tallahassee's to doppelganger. <laughs> but he was Tallahassee's doppelganger. Yeah, that and also uh, him getting zombified. Yeah, he was not, in the, he pretty much had a glorified cameo, but it was still pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Uh,. What did you think of Zoe Deutsch? I think how you pronounce her name is Madison, the Valley Girl character. She's kind of annoying, but also kind of funny. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hi, I'm Columbus. Madison. This is Tallahassee. Hey, Paul Blart. Is this your dad? <laughs> oh, whipsie, I forgot the seatbelt rule. Oh, so she knows the rules? I told her just a few of them. 73, and are there more? You're cute. I like it. Oh, do you know who she is in real life? 
that actress, Zoe Do, I think it's Zoe Deutsch, I think is how you pronounce her name. She is the daughter of Leah Thompson. What? Yeah, true story. That was Leah Thompson's daughter. Yeah, her mom was Lorraine from Back to the Future. Oh. And Howard the Duck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know I got that in my back somewhere. I'm yeah. just dreading the day I'm going to see it. But uh, you thought Madison was a funny character. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked her. Like, I think I wasn't sure when I, was, when I saw the character at first. I'm like, uh-oh, she could be really annoying. But, you know, she did have some funny moments along the way. <laughs> Uh, I think my favorite moment involving this character is like, Come on, we got a ride! I got all these heavy bags! And Talas is like, I'll put them in the bag! I mean, nope, travel light. <laughs> yeah, one of their rules. <laughs> I got some of your bags. Not! Oh, fuck! <laughs> what were you doing? I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> the bag was empty anyway. Oh, what are you we are going crazy talking about zombie land here. <laughs> yeah, I know in the movie, then this little thing gets on me. Yeah. I hate Mondays. <laughs> oh, yeah, how Garfield should have been dead. <laughs> oh, that post credit scene with Bill Murray was probably the funniest part of the whole movie. Did you? So that's the closest thing we'll ever get to a Garfield 3. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> It's funny they keep making fun of those because Bill Murray said he hated being in the Garfield movies. You know, he fought the first Garfield movie. He fought. He signed on to it because he thought he was going to be in a Coen Brothers movie yeah. because it was a Joel Cohen who wrote the screenplay. Yeah, but, but it was Cohen a different was spelled differently. Yeah. <laughs> nope, he's not. Old, he's not going to be in Old Party of Art Thou. <laughs> can you can you imagine if the Coen Brothers directed Garfield? Oh boy. It'd be like this dark comedy almost type movie. You've seen like Old Brother of Art Thou yeah. and Raising Arizona. Then imagine Garfield with that tone with Bill Murray seeing a CGI cat. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, but that scene was funny. You know, you see Bill Murray taking out all these zombies. I'm all right. It's playing in the background. Well, I think that was a nod to Caddyshack, which I. I have not seen that movie. Yeah, I don't think I know about that movie is, yeah. I that song. It's golf and, yeah, I'm all right, performed by Kenny Loggins. Yeah, that's a great song. And I love that during that scene also, he says, I'm not afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> and I hate Mondays. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was great. I hate Mondays. Uh, I also like the scene where they're in the uh, not Graceland. Oh, and, yeah. uh, no! No, not that far, but they're in the fake Graceland, and they're arguing over Elvis' shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, these can't be Elvis' actual shoes, and then the sign says Elvis' actual shoes. <laughs> like, look at the blue suede shoes. <laughs> oh, I do have a lot of fun with this movie. Uh, so, do you have uh, any negatives with the film at all? Or mm -hmm. uh, So, you did highly enjoy Zombieland too. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, well... What were some of your favorite aspects of the movie? Oh, I'll never forget those harder to kill zombies. Oh, the T 800s. The, the ter Terminators and the zombies. The Terminator zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a fun new addition to the movie for sure. And uh, what did you think of that third act where they were taking all those zombies out at that uh, Babylon hippy dippy coat place? Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> I think I still prefer the climax in the first movie where they were at the abandoned amusement park. Yeah, but I gotta admit, that's the first time I think I see Rosario Dawson drive a monster truck. Oh, yeah, that was fun to see. I've always liked Rosario Dawson. I love her as Ahsoka. And it's fun that she be in no tap. I should have worn my Baby Yoda t shirt. Oh, yeah, because she's Ahsoka. I was like, Ahsoka. Oh, and Lindsay has left the video. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, which Zombieland movie do you prefer? Yeah, I think I prefer the first one slightly better. Slightly better? Yeah, they're both neck and neck. Yeah, the sequel was pretty good. It's better than it, it had any right to be because, like I said earlier in the video, comedy sequels, especially if there's like a long distance between them, they tend to fail. A uh, good recent example, I haven't seen it. I know they did that 
Coming to America sequel with Eddie Murphy, oh, yeah. which came out like many, many years yeah. later. Well, never saw and it. That new sequel, whatever, was apparently terrible. The first movie's a classic. I haven't seen either movie. <laughs> so, it's actually kind of neat that Zombieland 2, released 10 years after the first, is still a good movie. Yeah. I still enjoy it. I think the first one's better. I think it's more memorable. Two, I think they do a lot of copy-paste, but it's still an enjoyable sequel with some great moments, and I enjoy seeing these characters once again. I think yeah. these two Zombieland movies are probably my favorite movies from this director, Ruben Fleischer. You know, he also did Venom, oh, really? which I didn't like, and he most recently directed Uncharted. Oh, okay. And I actually liked Uncharted. Yeah, what did you think it. of that one? Yeah, Ooh, I love, yeah, love me some Tom Holland. Yeah, Uncharted was fun. So, we're going to wrap up here. So, Jamie, what are you going to rate Zombieland Double Tap? Um, yeah, I'm going to, well, I do like the first Zombieland slightly better, so my rating is going to be four and a half. Four and a half for Zombieland 2? Yep, I th that's a good rating for Zombieland 2. I can respect that. I actually gave it a four and a half as well, which is the same rating I gave the first one, but I think on my 100 point scales, the first one is higher. I think the first Zombieland's like at a 90, and I think Zombieland 2 is like 82 or 81 on my 100 point scale. So I I did highly enjoy rewatching Zombieland 2, as I haven't seen it since theaters. Oh. So it's cool you got to check it out for the first time, and thank you, Jamie, for being on this video series once again, and I can't wait to have you on the next one. Yeah. Hopefully it's Howard the Duck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Then we got the daughter, and then the mother. <laughs> yeah, for Howard the Duck that is. Well, well, you, well, but you put that in the bag. We'll yeah, do that one that when you draw. Yeah, that bag somewhere. We'll, we'll do that one when you draw it out of the bag. <laughs> All right. So that wraps up another edition of Vlog in the Movies where my sister Jamie got to react to Zombieland 2 for the first time or Zombieland Double Tap. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've seen the film, let us know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides vlog videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Bye.